99.9% of the people walking down New York's Madison Avenue have ulcers and uh, nervous tics. They are worried. They've lost control of their lives to big business and big government. The .0001% who don't worry and still show signs of life work 13 floors above the avenue at Mad Magazine. Alfred E. Newman mascot, the What Me Worry Kid. The satirical magazine is in its 31st year, and we were after an interview with Mad's publisher, William Gaines. Somewhat of an ogre, uh, we had better luck with Mad's editor, Al Feldstein. Both Al and Bill have been with Mad from the beginning. You know, as long as the world is going along and crazy things are happening and, and, and insanity is, is present, we're going to react. Surprisingly, Al is one of only seven salaried staffers at America's Most Love, Yuck! magazine. <laughs> he does really great stuff. Some 30 freelance writers and artists like Don Martin, Tom Koch, Jack Davis, Angelo Torres, and Larry Siegel, the usual gang of idiots, are freelancers. They live and smirk right alongside their million and a quarter readers. The reader is feeling put upon by something, and Mad says, hey guys, you're being put upon by this. And I say, yeah, that's right. They're doing that. Boy, that's right. We got an entirely different view of the humor magazine in its back offices. Here, unsung artists and other low-paid weirdos thanklessly toiled in dimly lit sweatshops. We knew something was rotten when writer Dick D. Bartolo tried to warn us about work conditions. I just can't keep up with him. I just don't know what he's talking about half the time. It's... Senior editor Nick Meglin denied everything, but finally put us through to Big Cheese publisher William Gaines. You cannot control the writers. There's no way to control the writers. This is a writer-oriented magazine. We don't, uh, we never assign topics. I just have to pick up my paycheck. In case you didn't know, we get paid scale. <laughs> it became clear why Gaines had tried to avoid us. The poor man may control the purse strings at MAD, but nothing else. His operation is cheaper than the so-called cheap price of his magazine. He won't even sell advertising. We don't believe in merchandising. Uh, we make fun of people who suck every last dime out of a product, and so uh, we won't do it. Gaines unconvincingly tried to make us believe that he, too, was as hard-working as the rest of his staff. I then asked him if readers resented Mad's dollar-plus price. I'm sure not. Ask him uh, something easier! <laughs> so I asked him something easier. From whence came Alfred E. Newman? Well, Alfred is uh, about 100 years old. He was first used, and we've researched this quite a bit, he was first used by a painless dentist in Topeka whose name was Painless Romaine. And they used the picture of Alfred with the tooth missing and the legend, it didn't hurt a bit. Subsequently, Alfred popped up with his legend, What Me Worry, uh, which we did not create. Elfie appeared on postcards and in the early 50s joined Mad as a cover boy. His What Me Worry uh, is deeply philosophical when you think about it. It does make a lot of sense. But then on our way out through Mad's dingy back office, Dick DiBartolo interrupted one more time. But I have some inside stuff on how this company really works, you know. Tomorrow, part two, the inside story. Yes. This guy really. I want to speak to Debartolo. Debartolo. He looks like some kind of mad Russian I, soccer player. I don't know. I haven't yeah. heard his name or something. I want to talk to Debartolo right now. I've got the Debartolo file. Oh, okay. Yeah, is he there? Look at this side, by the way. What do you have, Bob? Uh, the big shots of Mad Magazine won't talk. He just writes the jokes, sends them in, and they print them. I don't like it. They're hiding something. While doing a story on Mad Magazine, writer Dick DiBartolo promised to spill the beans on how he and Mad come up with its monthly servings of irreverent junk. 
but I have some inside stuff on how this company really works, you know? His temper seemed phony. I checked with his bosses. Bill Gaines, publisher of Mad. <laughs> Match Games' Gene Rayburn. Yeah, he worked with you on uh, Match Game. I, uh, I, I don't know any Dick Bartolo. Are you sure you got the right? I'm Gene Rayburn. You People right? were clamming up. We only knew that Di Bartolo had also worked for TVs to tell the truth and tested racing boats. He's been with Mad for about 20 years. Sounds like a case of burnout. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. My investigative staff had done its best, but all I had to go on was DiBartolo's sinister promise of a scoop. Tomorrow at the Hoboken docks, you'll learn it all. Dick DiBartolo, huh? It was immediately obvious that Dick D could flip coins, but I wondered if he was any good at chewing gum and walking at the same time. Without explaining much, he led me through a dockside warehouse district. I felt uneasy, as if we were being watched. Eventually, we entered a room piled with rubble. Dick called it his office. Be careful. Don't touch anything. I'm a meticulous housekeeper, and you're gonna have to wear this. It was some office. But if it led to the place where Dick gets inspired enough to write for Mad Magazine, it was worth it. Watch this case. Watch that alligator. Dick claims his humor is socially redeemable because he jabs fun at overblown movies, television, and urban renewal. You know, I was so worried it was going to rain today. Well, we, at rain or shine, we do oh, these yes. things. Oh, yes. Hey, you know what? I want to go get a cup of coffee. Dick's grasp of life's absurdities seems to attract a very small number of intellectual readers. Vinny, it's okay. We're coming in. We finally entered his sanctum santorum of inspiration, the place where he writes his biting satire. The odd little man from Mad who has made a nation recoil with laughter by spitting on its sacred cows and who once said, enough is enough, writes in a disco. Hey, Dick, who is this guy? Th this guy? I thought this guy's with you. No, he's not with us. Who is he? I mean, he's been following us around. Who are you, buddy? Well, I saw all the people coming in here and all the television equipment and everything like that. It looked like a lot of fun. Hey, it is a lot of fun. Hey, you want a job? Sure. Dick read some stuff for us, and funny stuff it was. It's advice to the love <laughs> Do you think it needs no, right? No, 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 no. I have five more pages of this stuff. The truth on Mad Magazine was now all too clear. Dick D and the other idiots at Mad were all quite mad. But in an insane world, that seems to make sense.